everybody. Welcome to another episode of Making with Miss Jessie. Um, this is our season finale, which is pretty impressive. I didn't think we'd have a season, let alone a finale. Um, I want to thank each and every viewer out there, all one of you. Um, you've done a great job keeping our show afloat. We am happy to report that we are the official top rated show of the United Jewish Community of the Virginia Peninsula. So thank you so much to all my fan. Um, and uh, let's get started with our finale. Uh, you might notice I'm not in the UJC break room. I am actually at the home of uh, Gary Cavett, who's going to come and join me right now. Hi, Gary. Hi. I'm so glad that I was invited into your home by your lovely wife. I'm glad to have you. <laughs> so, Gary, what are we going to make today? We're going to make um, raisin spice muffins. Oh, that sounds really good. So, I don't think we're prepared. We don't have our stuff yet, and we probably could use some... Uh, different wardrobe. What do you think? I think that would be a great idea. Okay, ready? One, two, two three. three. Okay, we're ready. What are we going to make? So we're going to make um, raisin spice muffins, but these muffins are special because... Because I'm eating them? No, well, yes, and they're vegan and they're low-fat. Vegan low-fat muffins. Great. Awesome. I'm excited to make them. So what do we need? So um, we, we start off with um, making the egg substitute which is uh, called a flax egg okay and so we start with that with uh, a tablespoon of brown flax seeds okay and the reason why we start off with this first is because this has to set and sort of congeal to get that egg consistency okay so I just take a tablespoon of that and we need three tablespoons of water. Okay, perfect. So we have our substitute for the egg. So, so then we have to mix it up. Okay. And let it sit. And while we're doing the other ingredients, it will, it will get that sort of egg consistency. So when it first starts, it's pretty watery. Soupy. But that's okay, because it will change. So is this the equivalent of like one egg? It's the equivalent of one egg. So, so if you're not looking to make this a vegan recipe, you can just use one egg. So what else are we gonna need? Um, so we're gonna start off with uh, our dry ingredients. Okay. Which uh, we, um, so I've started with the uh, Kodiak uh, cake mix, and I, I like this cake mix uh, because it's, it's a wheat, higher protein mix. And um, uh, there's actually a recipe on the back for muffins. And basically where I came from with these muffins is that I just started experimenting because mm -hmm. um, I like a spiced muffin and I, and I like uh, fruit in my muffins. So I started with this and I just was experimenting over time. Sounds good. The best recipes come from experimenting. You will notice that I am not the most uh, exact with my measuring. That's okay. I think it's, they talk about how exact measuring is important in baking and that hasn't been my experience. I, I feel the same way. All right, so, so what comes next? Okay, one third of a cup of brown sugar. Okay. It's always so satisfying to get that plop of the brown sugar. Next, a teaspoon of salt. There's your salt. I think salt is like the most important ingredient in most dishes, even if they're sweet, because you just need that little bit of salt to balance and, and make the sweetness taste better. You can always tell when there's not salt. And so we're going to go with two teaspoons of cinnamon. And this is uh, one area where I've, I have varied a fair amount. I, the recipe on the box is one teaspoon. I definitely have done two teaspoons. I've done three teaspoons. It depends on how much of a punch of uh, cinnamon you want. I personally, and, and you know, my viewer will know that I like to add pumpkin spice anytime they say it's ginger, or, or I'm sorry, say that it's for cinnamon, just because it adds that just extra flavor. And then a teaspoon of allspice. allspice. Mm 
and a teaspoon of baking soda. Change out my teaspoon so I don't put the whole spice in there. Great. Now, I see on the recipe you have golden raisins. These remind me of my bubby. My bubby always had golden raisins in her house, never the brown raisins. Yeah. Um, I, I'm a golden raisin guy too. It does give me sort of a childhood memory. Of They're all, special. All I don't know the, what it is. All the dishes we ate growing up. So those are our jar ingredients, and okay. then we can move to the wet ingredients. So we can start off with some almond milk. Move this over for a little bit. You could use any. Oh, are you putting it right in the bowl? Yeah, oh, I'm I, sorry. I put it right. I didn't know if you were going to separate bowls. Uh, no, I just put it right in the bowl. I do too. I don't like having to do extra dishes. So we're doing a cup of almond milk. So again, if you were doing this non-vegan, you probably could use regular milk. Oh, absolutely. And so the substitute, ah, we're missing an ingredient. He's back with the applesauce. I know that was quite a, an adventure you just went on, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. So the applesauce is your substitute in vegan baking um, and low fat baking um, uh, for oil. So we use, um, uh, third of cup of applesauce. And I do find that when you use the applesauce, mm -hmm. um, that it increases your baking time a little bit. Oh, okay, that's good to know. So like on the recipe on the box, it, it says bake for um, 16 to 18 minutes. And um, I found that I'm pretty much always at about 25 okay. or more. So that's good to know. Smashing the bananas. Oh, that's so much fun, especially if you have a kid at home or you're just really, really angry. Smash a banana, it will get your stress out and it will make your muffins delicious. Yeah. So the way I, I like to do it is in a container that you can hold on to. Um, and I actually add just a touch of um, either milk to it or um, I've actually done it um, with uh, yogurt in the past. Okay. Like Fat-free yogurt. Uh, Fat-free Greek yogurt. Nice. And so the reason why I like the dish is I can kind of hold it, get a hand on, handle on it, and then start mashing away. The bananas are great because it also adds some additional sweetness. Yes. And you can have some chunks in there. Um, most of it, but most of the sweetness in this is, I mean, with the exception of the brown sugar, most of the sweetness in this is coming straight from the fruit. Yeah. All right, so we got our smashed bananas. I do a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. And then a flavor that I added that I really enjoy in baked items is um, almond. I am the exact so, same way. I yeah, love, I add almond. Gives you that little bit of a sort of a nutty flavor. And almond, it. almond extract, it, sm it just smells wonderful. Yeah, yeah, the aroma is great yeah. in the muffins for sure. Okay, and so then that takes us back so the flaxseed. Okay. Oh wow. And you can kind of see now instead of watery, it's kind of got more of that sort of eggy it, that consistency. Thickness, yeah. And again, you can substitute. And the flaxseed is probably going to add a lot of nuttiness as well. And you can substitute this for any egg um, that you might have in a recipe. So it's it's pretty much one to one. So. One tablespoon to three tablespoons for one egg, double it. You can even triple it. Um, the recipes that I've read said you can't really go beyond that. Okay. But most recipes don't take more than that. And so now it's the mixing part. And so 
Um, I like to use a bowl that um, is not too big um, and it's almost a little small, but it just makes it easier to go. So you I just sort of gently start. Okay, well this would not be in. making with Miss Jessie if you don't spill a little on the counter. So don't feel like you have to be too neat. <laughs> That's part of the deal is being a little bit messy. I just, um, this is a silicone spoon that I find, found it's almost the easiest way to do this. Just hold it above and kind of let it drip in. And my second one is usually a little bit smaller. So we're going to fill them right to the top so that we get that good crusty muffin top. Okay, so we're going to tap it down. Meanwhile, the oven's been um, uh, preheating okay. at 350. That's what I was going to ask you next. And um, so we're about ready to go. Sounds good. I'm going to pop these in. You said about 25 minutes? Yep. So now this is usually where I tell Alexa to time 25 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 25 minutes. 25 minutes, starting now. Okay, so we're ready to met. We're so we're going to let those bake, and we'll see you at tasting time. So through the magic of TV television and Gary making a batch of muffins earlier, our muffins are still baking, but we have a nice display of muffins ready to taste. So, so let's give it a go. The they muffin, look delicious. Tear the top off. This is the appropriate way, guys. Now, do you eat the bottom or the top first? That's you have to go with the top first. Top first? Okay. Well, now you have me second guessing. <laughs> Top first? Top first. Okay. Oh, that's good. They are definitely a filling muffin. Yeah. This is definitely a one muffin breakfast, not a three or four muffin breakfast. Yep. They're delicious, Gary. Thank you. So what have I learned today? Baking with Gary Cabot. Muffin to it. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for an episode of Making with Miss Jessie. We'll see you next time. Bye.